Hello everybody and welcome to a new series. I will be streaming, I mean recording, Clan Generator, which has been out for a while now, but I've just decided to start streaming it. Ah, recording it. So, I already have a clan, Crystal Clan. I've got some backstories, and as we go, I might do, like, a main character challenge or, or something like that. Anyways, so I'm going to introduce you to everybody. So, our leader, Bleak Star, is a female adult. She has nine lives remaining. She's a responsible, fantastic teacher. I'm going to, nope, nothing in backstory for now. Relations. So, let's get, check everybody. Our deputy, yes, our deputy, Birch Growl. Wonder if this Star Clan has given Clovefin any prophecies lately. He's a righteous, excellent speaker. A male adult, 50 moons old. Oh, and League Star is 54 moons old. Clofin is a female senior. Medicine, she's our medicine cat. She's calm and has valuable insight. She does have history, which we'll get into after. Made a mess of the herbs and is panicking. Ganderfern is telling off younger cats for pretty for petty dishonesty on out on patrol. Ganderfern is a female senior, a strict and great hunter. Fig Dapple tries to set a good example for younger cats. She's a female senior adult and she's a former kitty pet who is injured right now and is cold and smart. She's got a claw wound. Gander Breeze is eavesdropping on Shervel Kit, which is uh, I have two cats that I will be focusing more on, which I'll get to. So Gander Breeze is a male adult. He's war he's a warrior of our clan and he's an adventurous, fantastic teacher. One of these cats that I was talking about that I was gonna focus on is Cougar Spots. Wonders how Gander Breeze is doing. She's a female and a young adult. Her apprentice right now is Heather Paw and she's a careful, fantastic teacher. Oh well, wow. her experience needs to get up. Pepper Shadow, which was uh, an apprentice at, which became a warrior at Ten Moons, but the how it works is I have it depending on experience, and when they're prepared, they can graduate. But they'll keep the sprite until they're twelve moons old, and then they'll get their warrior sprite. But before that, they're gonna keep their apprentice sprite. But if they already basically graduated to becoming a warrior they will be considered a warrior so pap pepper shadow wonders how clofin is doing heather paw is feeling cramped in the apprentices then wait did i read this no so pepper shadow is a male young adult he's a responsible great teacher and he's 12 months old heather paw is feeling cramped in the apprentices then. She's a female apprentice right now and she's lonesome and we don't know what else. Her mentor is Cougar Spots. Salt Kit is worried about Shervel Kit. We found he was formerly abandoned and Salt Kit is a, an inquisitive kit. He's injured. He has a headache right now. Shovel Kit wishes other cats would stop babying them. A male who's young and is insecure. Now I'll get to the backstories. Clofin is the first. Backstory. Clofin was just a young she-cat when she roamed the cliffs hunting anything she could get her paws on. Clofin pounced off ledges and caught birds, landing on the lands below swiftly every time. Then, while on her adventurous hunting trips, Clofin had disaster strike. A landslide rumbled through 
rumbled through the cliffs, and Clofin barely survived, her wounds showing. She limped off in search of herbs, using the little herb knowledge she had at the time. Clofin then found an interest in herbs and began researching and discovering their uses. She learned valuable insight on them and decided she'd become a medicine cat if she ever joined the clan. Once she became a senior, her valuable insight was as valuable as ever, both on cliff life and herbs. Now, let's go. I'm going to just check. I think Fig Dapple. Yes. Fig Dapple was, um, I just randomized the suffix because she joined just as Fig. Fig roamed the mountains above the cliffs of Crystal Clan, having been abandoned as a kitty pet due to her owner being too old to care for her. Fig had to live it rough learning how to hunt and survive by herself in the frigid, snowy lands of the mountains. She was exploring the cliffs at the border of Crystal Clan when she heard something and looked back, rocks, a rock slide thundering after her. She ran in panic, but was injured. Limping towards some bushes, she thought hope was lost when Ganderfern, a member of Crystal Clan, saved, saved her li life, bringing them to crystal clan sometimes while i was doing these i wasn't paying attention to the gender so i was like i'll just call them them gonna read nothing cougar spots has quite a big one cougar spots a former alley cat was named after her cougar like pelt and for her spotted pelt she used to roam along the alleys of the town in the forest below the cliffs of crystal clan one day she found a lone queen with a single kit she asked if she asked her if she had more kits but they had died and the queen answered she'd had a disabled kit and had abandoned it cougar spots his ears flattened as she hissed at the response asking how the queen could have abandoned a poor kit she then set off to search for it her tail lashing as she did so cougar spots searched for a day until dusk rolled in she watched as the sun set and the night rolled in, and she sighed, almost giving up when she heard something. A desperate kit! She spotted a kit being washed away in a river nearby and dove into the washing waters, saving the kit from a near doom event. She, comfer she then comforted the kit. Once they were ashore, she adopted the kit, naming it Shervel Kit, after the Shervel clans it had been hiding beside previously. Oops. Okay, so that's Cougar Spots. I just placed backstory. Okay. <clears throat> Salt Kit. A distant cousin of Shervel Kit, Salt Kit was abandoned on the side of a thunder path due to being disabled. He mewed weakly while laying on the side of the thunder path hoping a cat would save him meanwhile cougar spots and her apprentice heatherpaw stumbled upon the weakened muse of salt kit heatherpaw rushed towards the sound finding the weak salt kit she and cougar spots rushed salt kit back and nursed him back to health promising him a place in crystal clan soon afterwards salt kit vowed to be the best warrior he can be despite his disabilities since he's partially deaf, which means he can't hear that well. Shervel Kit Shervel Kit was abandoned soon after he was born due to being seemingly disabled. He hid inside the bushes wondering when his life would end, and on that cold night, Shervel Kit shivered as the chilled breeze blew by. He went to a river to drink, but slipped and fell into it. When it all seemed lost, a a cat dove into the water and grabbed his scruff, taking him to the shore to comfort him. It was Cougar Spots. She had saved him and soon after accepted to become his adoptive mother. And that's all the backstories for our clan. Now, let's see. Star Clan. We did lose a cat due to a Wolverine encounter. So how it happened? Smoky Jaw was just walking along the cliffs when she heard a sound nearby and suddenly she went 
face to face or snout to snout with a wolverine and the wolverine finished her off and that's literally what happened but we don't have anything i mean any cat in the dark forest or anything yet but if there's a cat which has which does really bad things we'll probably send them there i just gotta check this i haven't yet so in our medicine cat den we have one dandelion one thyme one betony one two marigold oh wait no two betony two marigold two oak leaves and two rosemary did i already okay no we haven't gotten anybody i'm gonna just add okay so this is gonna be a medicine cat patrol who will help cougar spots and her apprentice with new leaf having won against the snows of leaf bear it's far safer to go gather juniper needles from the trees clofin heads out with a gathering patrol promising the warriors that they can pick up a few needles for the dens of the camp to help freshen them up so long as they gather enough for the herb stores first. Proceed. The warriors are full of complaints about the sharp juniper needles spiking their poor wiggle noses. And eventually, a mildly disgusted Clofin calls off the herb gathering patrol. Darn it, we did not collect anything. Well, now, Pepper Shadow and Ganderfern are gonna go out together, random patrol type. Okay, so they went on a border patrol. The patrol is checking along the border lines when they hear a startling sound. A hiss of pain? They quickly follow the sound to the source. It's a loner and they appear to be injured. Why do I keep getting a bunch of new cats joining our clans? Just two moons in. We lost a cat on moon one. And then we found like... Salt kit, we found another loner, which is Fig Dapple, and now we're another one. Well, let's proceed. The patrol rarely approaches the loner who doesn't seem to notice them. It's obvious that the cat is bleeding out. But Bershadow attempts to staunch the bleeding and carry the cat to camp, but it's no use. Hopefully, the loner didn't suffer too much. So we didn't save the loner. And it doesn't show up. It would be cool if it did. Gander Breeze. I think Gander Breeze is going out alone now. Oh, wrong thing. Gander Breeze. Border again. Gander. A large dog. Nope. Gander Breeze decides to not pursue such a dangerous creature, especially seeing as it hasn't crossed the border. I'm never doing that. Well, now let's go on a hunting patrol. It starts snowing soon after, but after the. It starts snowing soon after the patrol sets out, trying to find something to bring back to the fresh kill pile. A storm descends, sudden and violent, putting an end to any other thoughts but survival. The cats dig a snow den and, hu and cuddle it together, sharing that what little wa warmth they have. Each cat takes a turn on the side nearest to the entrance tunnel, selflessly risking themselves. <sighs> if we lost the leader already, that would be tragic. Well, luckily, Birch Girl and Bleakstar are okay. Let's go to three. Bleakstar calls the clan to a meeting and declares Heatherpaw to be a warrior. They are now called Heather Feather and are celebrated for their enthusiasm. Wow. Heather Feather. That rhymes. I like that. <laughs> Ganderfern was climbing a tree and got a splinter from one of the branches. Saltkit's headache is gone. Figdapple's wound has healed well. Now relationship. Cougar spots covered for Heather Paw on something minor. Shrivel Kid appreciates Saltkit telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. Gander Breeze had Shervil Kid surprise them with something nice. Bertrand wants to spend more time with Pepper Shadow. Heather Feather thinks that, pr that the prey 
Clove Finn is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Pepper Shadow comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Fig Dapple. Come on, it's a... Okay, fine. So Pepper Shadow, a very young warrior. Fig Dapple, a senior but a kitty pet. Maybe not the best idea to sneak out of camp like that. You too. Clofin had Shervil Kid surprise them with something nice. Clofin is complaining that Ganderbreeze never does anything helpful. Ganderbreeze appreciates Birchvale telling them that they had a feather stuck to their face. Leakstar bumps heads with Shervil Kit reassuringly. Salt Kit sticks their tongue out at Clofin. Fig Dapple is complaining that Bleakstar never does anything helpful. Fig Dapple thinks Shervil Kit is being annoying. I'm gonna just check. Whoa, I never saw Fig Dapple's full pelt. That's beautiful. I like it. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, no color to show that you're a kitty pet or anything. Wow. Well, now, let's see. Cat list. Heather Feather is now a troublesome great fighter. I think. The, okay, so, um, next moon, Salt Kit will be an apprentice, and in two moons, Shovel Kit will be. Now, let's go back to the start. Blee Star is questioning their ability to lead. Birch Girl wonders how Fig Dapple is doing. Clofin is eavesdropping on Birch Girl. Ganderfern is curious about the other clans. Fig Dapple is craving the taste of Shrew. Ganderbreeze somehow has a gaggle of kids following them. <laughs> that happened to Cougar Spots, so I think the kids like Ganderbreeze and Cougar Spots to follow around. Cougar Spots keeps an eye on some rowdy kids. Pepper Shadow is feeling sassy today. Heather Feather is sparring with some clanmates. Also, a tongue twister. Heather Feather. Salt Kit is hiding from other cats, and Shervil Kit is asking the older cats about how kittens are made. Alright. We've got a pretty good clan going. So, I think I'm just gonna check. Oh, I'm gonna let you guys read the weaknesses for Crystal Clan, so if anybody wants to, they can pause right now. Now, to the cat list. I haven't checked relationships. Ooh, romant Bleak Star and Birchwell have some romantic like right now. Nothing much else. Same for Birchwell. But wait a second. Oh I see. I think if we get like four or three little thingy like little parts or slots of romantic like like we can declare mates. Clofin. Uh, uh, oh, dislikes Salt Kit. Hmm. Ganderfern. Dislikes anybody? Nope. Figged Apple doesn't even know half the clan. Or just half the clan. Dislikes Shervil Kit. Wow. And Bleak Star. But respects them a tiny bit, but is very jealous of them too. Wow. Mixed feelings here. It's, everything is good. No dislikes. Cougar spots. Yeah, platonic light. Like. So if you get one, two, three of those bits on romantic like, that can be declaring mates. So, Cougar Spots has pretty good relationships with Shervil Kit and Pepper Shadow. That's the only reason I, I made the story for Shervil Kit and Cougar Spots. Because of the like, I think, or something like that. Because I, I did it yesterday, so I don't really remember. So, Pepper Shadow, yeah, only dislikes the leader a lot and is jealous of them. Heather Feather doesn't dislike anybody. Salt Kit dislikes Birch Growl, the deputy, and Clove Finn, the medicine cat. And finally, Shervil Kit likes a bit 
cooker spots and but feels very re it respects and com and feels comfortable and a tiny bit of trust and yeah that's that's relationships so now patrols gonna add three random cats herb gathering heather feather gander breeze clothin the thick growth of green leaf will serve crystal clan well today Clofin decides, thinking about gathering elder leaves. D There's a particular tree in a sheltered dip along a stream they want to check on today, bringing a group of their clanmates with them. The tree growing in a sheltered spot without huge amounts of wind has branches that extend a mere whisker length above the ground. The gathering is simple, today warmed by the green leaf sun. It makes the patrol an easy mission with the cats taking the opportunity to hang out and socialize as much as gather herbs. Nice. So Gander Reason, Heather Feather, and Clofin had a good time. Add two random cougar spots and birch growl border. Cougar spot spies a fat rabbit on the other side of the marsh clan border. A tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt on a different clan's territory. Grispot leaps for the rabbit, making a swift kill just before a Marsh Clan patrol comes into view. The Marsh Clan cats bristle at the trespass, and the fight seems to be brewing. Thankfully, Birch Ralph smooths things over with the other patrol, graciously gr gifting them the rabbit as they part ways without damaging the relationship between the clans. Risky move. And, yeah. That was lucky, I think. Okay, so Bleak Star and Gander Fern. Hunting. Ooh. Your patrol comes across a bird that's occupied scratching at the ground for insects. Your patrol narrowly misses the bird. Fig Apple and Pepper Shadow. Oh, whoa. A kitty pet, that's an expert, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna do training now. Fig Apple suggests this might be a good time to practice teamwork with Pepper Shadow. Both cats have a nice practice session, and their trust and coordination with each other grows stronger. Alright, doing good. Ganderfern's small cut has healed up nicely. Surprising Heather Feather, the first thing that Salt Paw asks to do once the meeting ends is gather moss so everyone has fresh bedding. <gasps> it's Salt Paw, who's now a responsible apprentice. Not much going on. So let's go to relationships. Cougar Spots is giving Heather Feather. A task. Cougar Spots reminds Shrivel Kit to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Shrivel Kit tra challenged Salt Kit to spar with them. Clofin is relaxing with Gander Breeze. Birch Girl enjoys the time with Gander Breeze and feels secure. Heather Feather wants to spend more time with Cougar Spots. Pepper Shadow thinks about how Clofin is always reliable. Clofin is stuttering while speaking to Gander Fern. Ganderfern stands tall when Birch Growl walks by. Ganderfern, Saltkit, and Bleakstar took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Bleakstar saw Birch Growl the other day, but didn't get a chance to mew hello. Saltpaw prays that they aren't on patrol with Figdapple tomorrow. Figdapple is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Clovefin. I wonder if Figdapple likes to chat about herbs and stuff so let's check how everybody's doing bleak star wonders how cougar spots is doing birch girl is hoping for a break clofin is having a hard day ganderfern wants to get to know cougar spots better fade apple is eating some fresh kill gander breeze is napping cougar spots is a bit cross with salt paw not salt kit salt paw Pepper Shadow goes to bed early so they can work more tomorrow. Heather Feather is feeling embarrassed after getting a taste of their own bitter herbs. Serve them, right? 
So I'll pause daydreaming about having a mate and kids someday. Hmm. Shrivel Kid is trying to growl menacingly. Shrivel Kid and Saltpaw are like best friends with their interactions, even though they don't have much right now. They're just developing a friendship right now. And I just noticed Shrivel Kid has a little boot on his paw. All right, patrols, and then I guess that's gonna be the end three cats oh okay so heather feather i'm gonna take out so i'll take out pepper shadow they'll go border as your patrol is checking the border lines they notice that a marsh Clan scent has strayed into their territory. Your patrol follows the scent to marsh to a marsh clan cat taking refuge up a tree. The cat yowls a warning, and your patrol scatters when they hear the cry. Just in time, too, as a large jo dog jumps at the patrol, catching Saltpaw, but thankfully only injuring them before Saltpaw tears themselves free and sprints away. I don't know what to think of this. There's a dog in our territory, and the Marsh Clan cat was trying to warn us about it. How do we smell the Marsh Clan cat, but not the dog? I don't know. Well, three more cats. I'm just going to do random patrol. Whoa! The hunting patrol spots an eagle on the wing over a large bend in the river, and watches as it swoops to dig its talons through the spine of an impressively big fish. But then, it doesn't take it, its catch into the air. Perhaps it's too heavy. The patrol decides to fight the eagle in the water for possession of the prey. But while its talons are occupied while holding on to its prey, its beak is not, is not and it takes a nasty chunk out of cougar spots before the cats retreat. Oof. More injuries. Let's do some hunting. The patrol catches the scent of a red fox. Tracking it, they find the animal feeding on a mountain goat kid carcass. It's, 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 no. it's impossible whether to say the fox killed it or found it. The patrol launches into battle, but Fig Dapple is caught with a nasty bite, and the cats give up on challenging for the food in favor of quickly helping Fig Dapple back to the medicine den. Why is everybody getting injured? It just seems like our unlucky day. Dogs, eagles, and foxes attacking our cats. The thick growth of green leaf will serve Crystal Can well today. Clofin decides thinking about gathering elder leaves. Oh, right. Same tree. Huh? Clofin reaching out just a little too far to try and grab a branch of elder while balanced on another loses their balance and tumbles to the ground. Clofin got scrapes. Everybody's injured. One, two, three, four. Four injuries in the same day. Well, we will have to wrap it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to all events. Shervilpaw has reached the age of six moons and has been made an apprentice. Clofin has healed from all their scrapes. Leekstar has gotten heat exhaustion. Saltpaw's pelt is looking much better. Alright. So, next time we will check out the relationships, the cats, what they're up to, and go on patrols. So, thanks for everybody for watching and be sure to subscribe. Bye bye!